Well, Byron, the short answer to that is no. They did not come home with any guarantee these Baldwin County sites would be removed from consideration. They did come home confident their message was heard. Baldwin County Commissioners Chris Elliott and Tucker Dorsey, along with Sheriff Hoss Mack, made the trip. Now, Congressman Bradley Byrne and Senator Richard Shelby share the same concerns and arranged for meetings with officials from the Department of Defense and Homeland Security. The fact that these two airfields in Silver Hill and Josephine are once again being considered for tent encampments took local officials by surprise when that information leaked out last Friday. Two years ago, the Department of Health and Human Services was considering locating 2,000 immigrant children here during the Syrian refugee crisis. This time, it would be 25,000 illegal immigrants, including adults, while they await their immigration status hearings. Baldwin County's arguments against it are much the same as last time, meeting needs for education, health care, security, hurricane evacuations, and a complete lack of supporting infrastructure at either site. This is a pasture that has an airstrip on it. Wolf Field is a field that has a airstrip on it. So the infrastructure, not only that, but the public safety concerns were paramount on the road that you see, County Road 54 in front of us. Uh, I raised several questions as to the overall security. Once again, the staff and the people we dealt with were very cooperative. I feel like they heard our message and I feel very good that yesterday was time well spent To give you an idea of the scale of what these encampments would be like, either one of them would be essentially Baldwin County's fifth and sixth largest cities, and according to Sheriff Mack, would require a few thousand people to work there on a daily basis. Both of these uh, locations are off county roads, small two-lane roads, and just couldn't handle that kind of traffic load. And of course, then there's the matter of evacuations and the likely event of even a tropical storm for these type of encampments. So uh, the fight's not over. We still don't know when they'll get an answer to this, but they're confident their message was heard. Reporting live from Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.